Well, this small clip is going to show the uh, end of the last stages of building of the tracker bar. Uh, the last clip I left, we've seen the top, the sides, the inside with the separate cells all uh, carefully sealed. And of course this tracker bar has to sit on its base uh, unit. This is where I left you last time. And here's the base unit in the making. And I really don't like this stage of making things when uh, you've just completed a section of whatever you're doing and it's kind of covered in glue and mess and the glue is drying and the stage I prefer is when you get up the next morning or the next day and it's all finished and dry and you can sand it and start making it all look neat so this looks rather messy as of the rest of the workshop but I'll have it all tidied up tomorrow I guess so that's the base plate and the cell with its three larger base holes will sit on top of that and be carefully glued in position making sure that each cell within is completely airtight and joined to one section with its outlet pipe towards the flute and this is made simply by copying the various dimensions drawn on the plan I've verified the cells by lying the cell bar on the edge of the on the edge of the board and just with a pencil tracing the various meeting points that I can be sure that each inner hole exactly meets the cell so that when I glue the top onto the base I know that uh, the meeting will be uh, appropriate make a good marriage of the two uh, pieces and uh, I've used um, this little metal bar which I've cut into its short slices, short lengths with this very nice pipe cutter very good uh, pipe cutter and on the back has a handy tool here which you can use for cleaning out the inside of the pipes I don't have every pipe cutter is equipped with one but this is really good once you cut your section of pipe you just tidy up the rough uh, edges of the pipe and another uh, tip that I learned because I'm learning all this as I go along is that in order to glue the sections of pipe into the baseboard. The thing to do is to put the glue around the end of the pipe and then push the metal into the board. And the first ones I did, the base pipes, I put the glue around the inside of the wood and pushed the pipe into that and that made a real mess. But I don't know if you can see there, but in doing it the other way around, in putting the glue around the pipe and then pushing it in, it just makes a little ring of glue around the edge of the pipe, a really nice tight air seal and uh, I had some uh, more luck today going down the dustbins always a good sign that things are going well, I found this wonderful pile of uh, um, emery paper probably dating back from the 20s or 30s made by an American company, this will amuse my English speaking friends Durex Abrasives Corporation made in New York, United States of America. I found a bit stuck of this in my local dustbin. And I also found this in the local dustbin. And I've been looking for one of these, that's perfect. There's a little electric uh, cooker on which I can uh, warm the glue that I'm going to use to glue the leather onto the bellows. And I found a nice little tape measure as uh, well. These are next to neighbors that have been clearing out the, the shed of a house that they just built. And they put that all in the bin. So. That's the tracker bar finished. In the next uh, clip that I uh, make, we'll be going on to the completion of the bellows and the reservoir box. Thanks for watching, and good luck with your own if you're building.